The Winter Garden at Llandidno was a large new cinema and ballroom project that opened in March 1935. In November 1936, it had been taken over and renamed Odeon. The Winter Garden Complex was a promotion of Zed Brierley and his two sons, who had been in business as Cream's Motor Coach Tours for 14 years. The main booking offices of the coach company were incorporated into the design of the new building. The outside of the building was in the same style as Gaumont British's recently opened Alhambra Theatre in Paris, in France. The cinema held 2,000 people. Arthur Hewitt of Flandidno was the architect of the Winter Garden, and the original decorations of the theatre were in green, gold and silver. The large grills on either side of the proscenium were painted gold. Fibrous plaster bowls formed part of the ornamentation of the walls, and the heavy channel at the top of the walls concealed lamps which reflected their rays onto the silver-finished ceiling. The proscenium frame housed a battery of lamps in reflectors. Full-scale theatrical productions could be staged. Thirty lines of counterweights had been provided for scenery, and the stage was 33 feet deep. The Winter Garden had 14 dressing rooms. A Christie organ was installed on the lift. It may be of interest to explain why so many independently built theatres had to come to an agreement with one or other of the large circuits and make them responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the theatre. In the 30s, it seemed to many entrepreneurs that cinemas just could not go wrong, and the larger the auditorium, the more money it would make. Many would-be cinema magnates therefore built a large independent theatre. However, in reality, a large capacity meant high overheads, a larger staff, a heavy mortgage, a large number of patrons to fill the seats, and, most important of all, access to the best films at the most advantageous terms. This last item was said to be the downfall of many independent companies. As Gaumont, Associated British Cinemas, Granada and Odeon gained more and more theatres, so they were able to dictate terms to the film distributors and insist that films booked to them could not be shown first run in other cinemas. Independent theatres were therefore starved of first-class new films and forced into booking arrangements with the larger circuits, whereby not only did the circuits book the films, but also managed the property as well. From here, it was but a short step for the circuit to take over the mortgage of the building and absorb the cinema into their own circuit. When Odeon gave up the Winter Garden, it became the Astra, but it was only open during the summer season. In winter, this huge theatre was disused. It has since closed permanently.